In Chapter 4 of No Drama Discipline, The Whole Brain Way to Calm the Chaos and Nurture Your Child's Developing Mind, authors Daniel J. Siegel and Tina Payne Bryson provide practical examples of how parents can put the principles of no drama discipline into action. The chapter begins with a discussion of the importance of connecting with children and the role it plays in effective discipline. The authors introduce the concept of the upstairs brain and the downstairs brain, which refers to the prefrontal cortex and the lower brainstem, respectively. They explain that the upstairs brain is responsible for higher-order thinking, such as decision-making and problem-solving, while the downstairs brain controls automatic responses such as fight or flight. When children are upset, their downstairs brain is activated, making it difficult for them to reason and communicate effectively. The authors argue that parents can help children shift from their downstairs brain to their upstairs brain by connecting with them in a way that promotes safety and security. The authors then provide examples of how parents can apply the principles of no drama discipline in real-life situations. They offer several scenarios such as a child refusing to put on their shoes or having a meltdown in a public place, and provide practical tips for how parents can respond in a way that promotes connection and understanding. The authors emphasize the importance of validating a child's emotions, remaining calm, and providing a safe and supportive environment for the child to express themselves. The authors also discuss the importance of setting limits in a positive and supportive way. They suggest that parents should focus on what they want their child to do, rather than what they don't want them to do. For example, instead of saying don't run, a parent can say walk slowly. The authors argue that by framing limits in a positive way, parents can help their children feel safe and supported while also promoting positive behavior. The chapter also includes a section on using language to promote connection. The authors provide examples of how parents can use language to validate their child's emotions and promote understanding. They suggest using phrases such as I understand that you're feeling frustrated or it's okay to feel sad. The authors argue that by using language that promotes empathy and understanding, parents can help their children feel heard and validated. The chapter concludes with a discussion of the importance of practice and patience in no drama discipline. The authors argue that no drama discipline is a process that requires practice and patience, and that parents should be prepared for setbacks and challenges along the way. They suggest that by remaining committed to the principles of no drama discipline and continuing to practice them, parents can build strong and positive relationships with their children. Overall, Chapter 4 of No Drama Discipline provides practical examples of how parents can apply the principles of no drama discipline in real-life situations. The authors emphasize the importance of connecting with children in a way that promotes safety and security, validating emotions, setting limits in a positive way, using language to promote empathy and understanding, and remaining committed to the process of no drama discipline. Chapter 5 of No Drama Discipline the Whole Brain Way to Calm the Chaos and Nurture Your Child's Developing Mind by Daniel J. Siegel and Tina Payne Bryson explores the use of 1-2-3 discipline as a tool for redirecting children's behavior in a positive way. The authors begin by discussing the limitations of traditional discipline methods, such as timeouts and punishments, and the negative impact they can have on children's development. The authors introduce the concept of redirection which involves guiding children toward positive behavior by focusing on what they should do, rather than what they shouldn't do. They argue that redirection is a more effective and positive approach to discipline, as it helps children develop self-regulation and problem-solving skills. The authors then introduce the concept of 1-2-3 discipline, which involves giving children a clear warning and a chance to correct their behavior before consequences are applied. The authors stress that 1-2-3 discipline is not a punishment, but rather a tool for guiding children toward positive behavior. The authors provide practical tips for implementing 1-2-3 discipline, including setting clear expectations, using a calm and respectful tone of voice, and following through with consequences when necessary. They emphasize the importance of giving children a clear warning before applying consequences, as it gives them a chance to self-correct their behavior. The authors also discuss the importance of consistency in discipline, arguing that it is important to apply consequences consistently and fairly. They suggest that parents should have a clear plan in place for implementing 1-2-3 discipline, 
including the consequences that will be applied and when they will be applied. The authors also address common challenges that parents may face when implementing 1-2-3 discipline, such as children testing boundaries or resisting consequences. They provide practical tips for overcoming these challenges, such as remaining calm and consistent, focusing on positive behavior, and using redirection to guide children toward more appropriate behavior. The chapter concludes with a discussion of the long-term benefits of 1-2-3 discipline, including the development of self-regulation and problem-solving skills. The authors argue that by guiding children toward positive behavior through redirection and 1-2-3 discipline, parents can help them develop the skills they need to succeed in the future. Overall, Chapter 5 of No Drama Discipline provides practical tips and strategies for using 1-2-3 discipline as a tool for guiding children toward positive behavior. The authors emphasize the importance of redirection and consistency in discipline, and provide practical tips for overcoming common challenges that parents may face. The chapter highlights the long-term benefits of 1-2-3 discipline, including the development of self-regulation and problem-solving skills and argues that it is a more effective and positive approach to discipline than traditional methods such as timeouts and punishments. In Chapter 6 of No Drama Discipline, The Whole Brain Way to Calm the Chaos and Nurture Your Child's Developing Mind, authors Daniel J. Siegel and Tina Payne Bryson introduce the concept of redirecting the child's behavior in a positive way. They argue that redirection can be a powerful tool for helping children develop self-regulation and problem-solving skills while also improving their behavior and reducing negative interactions with parents. The authors outline a simple and effective acronym for redirection, R-E-D-I-R-E-C-T. The letters stand for the following strategies for redirecting a child's behavior. Respond with empathy. The authors suggest that parents should first empathize with their child's feelings and needs before addressing the behavior that needs to be redirected. This can help the child feel understood and supported and can lay the groundwork for positive communication and problem solving. Explain and label. The authors suggest that parents should explain the behavior that needs to be redirected in a calm and respectful manner, and label it in a way that helps the child understand why it is problematic. This can help the child develop self-awareness and understand the impact of their behavior on others. Describe what you want. The authors suggest that parents should be clear and specific about the behavior they want to see from their child, rather than simply telling them what not to do. This can help the child focus on positive behavior and develop a sense of agency and control. Identify a choice. The authors suggest that parents should give their child a choice in how to behave, rather than simply imposing consequences. This can help the child feel empowered and involved in the discipline process and can promote problem-solving and self-regulation. Reinforce positive behavior. The authors suggest that parents should reinforce positive behavior when it occurs, by praising and rewarding their child. This can help the child feel valued and motivated to continue engaging in positive behavior. Empower your child. The authors suggest that parents should empower their child to make positive choices in the future by helping them develop self-regulation and problem-solving skills. This can help the child feel confident and capable, and can promote positive interactions with parents and others. The authors provide practical examples of how to use the redirect acronym in various situations, such as tantrums, sibling conflicts, and homework battles. They also discuss common challenges that parents may face when implementing redirection such as resistance from the child or difficulties with consistency. They provide practical tips for overcoming these challenges, such as remaining calm and consistent, using positive language, and focusing on the long-term benefits of redirection. The chapter concludes with a discussion of the importance of positive discipline for promoting healthy parent-child relationships and supporting children's development. The authors argue that by using redirection and the redirect acronym, Parents can improve their child's behavior and reduce negative interactions, while also promoting self-regulation and problem-solving skills. Overall, Chapter 6 of No Drama Discipline provides practical strategies and examples for using redirection and the redirect acronym as a tool for positive discipline. The authors emphasize the importance of empathy, clear communication, and choice in discipline 
and provide practical tips for overcoming common challenges. The chapter highlights the long-term benefits of positive discipline for promoting healthy parent-child relationships and supporting children's development.